And here we have the Zinger chair. This lovely young lady is going to demonstrate it. Her name is Aradi. And uh, yeah, so Aradi, what do you have to do to go forward? So you got to push the lever forward and pull the trigger. Okay. You can pull it all the way, it goes faster. You squeeze it, you mean all the squeeze way? Squeeze it. Pull it all the way fast, halfway to medium. You can control the speed. We're on medium speed, you can go high speed and it'll take off. So you have three different speeds, low speed, medium and high. Okay, the high speed goes up to 9.6 kilometers an hour, but you could still control the speed by uh, the actual trigger. So if you press the trigger hard, it'll go faster. If you press it just a little bit, it'll go slower, even on the fast speed. Now go demonstrate the slow speed. Let's see how slow you go on the slow speed already. This is a low speed. I'm gonna pull the trigger all the way. So she pulls the trigger and pushes, all the way. and pushes the levers down to move. And you see, it's a very nice slow speed that anybody can use. You can use this in a mall like this, through in a grocery store, you can go through aisles, you can do shopping. Okay, so for somebody who does not like the traditional wheelchair with a thumbstick, okay, can utilize the Zinger chair. My opinion, it looks a lot better. It does not look like a wheelchair. Right, already? Right. I For like anybody, really, if you look at it, it's a beautiful match chair. Look at that. So to turn, you got to pull the lever of the side you want to turn. So if you want to turn right, pull you pull up side. on the right side. And pull the other side the opposite way. So if I want to turn left, I'm going to pull it left, and I'm going to push the other one down. That is going to do vice versa with this way. It takes about a minute, as a learning curve, it's about a minute. Once you learn how to use this, really, it's really, really simple. You don't really care for one of those other chairs. So you've got uh, very low speed. I believe the first speed is up to 1.8 kilometers an hour, or it could be miles, I'm not sure. I have a, a video on it explaining the different speeds. Reverse, it's telling people it beeps. Yeah, when it's in reverse, it beeps. So if you're going backwards, there's only one speed in reverse, but at least it beeps and lets somebody behind you know. Now, over here, hold on already. Over here, you see the Zinger bag. So you can put like a laptop or something in the back here, it's Velcro. Like this. And you can see another Velcro here. You can utilize this as a as a laptop bag and then at the bottom you have a a little basket as you can see at the bottom there you can put your you can put a shopping bag or whatever it is you want to put underneath right there there's the uh, basket okay so let's see how fast now the third speed goes for somebody okay. who wants to use it outside, outdoors. You can actually go on grass. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's got the safety wheels in the back. <laughs> so when you do pull a wheelie, like she just did. You know, there's a guy on the skateboard. She's flying by. Electric skateboard, that is. So let's see, already, let's see you go on the grass. Over here in our grass. And there you go. I mean, just go, go forward. There you go. <laughs> you have it on the fast speed? I have it on the fast speed. Should okay. I adjust it when I'm on the cross? Okay, you just leave it on the fast speed. Okay. That way you can go, go across. Okay, go straight. You don't have to turn. Go straight. And there she comes again. <laughs> there you go, that's on grass. Okay, you can easily get off the grass. There you go. Remember, you got the safety wheels in the back. So if you do pull a wheelie like she just did, you're not going to fall backwards. You can climb that hill. Yeah, but I don't want to. Climb, go around. Utilize the uh, ramps. So 
this to get it out of reverse, you have to press reverse again. Again, yes. So press reverse to get it into reverse. Let's see it ready. And reverse to get it out of reverse. You see? It so shows reverse. you here. Low. Hold on already. See, there you go. Low, medium, and high. And then reverse the slashing because she pressed reverse. Okay, so now she's going to go backwards, obviously, because she's in reverse. Now back on medium. Now she's on medium speed. Go as fast as you can on the medium. There she goes. It's a very, very good speed, the medium speed. You can come down the ramp and around. Still medium. And this is the medium speed. Five. Go full blast to the medium speed. Oh, wow, see? Even faster, actually, on the medium speed. This is fun. There she goes. And off she goes again. She's thing. Are you at the fast speed now? Yeah. Yeah, she's racing. I don't know if, with who, but she's racing with somebody. <laughs> And there she goes again, nice and fast. This is 9.6 kilometers an hour, which is six miles per hour. This is a very, very good speed. She can do this speed for about, I would say about eight miles. So she's got a distance of about 12 kilometers, 11 to 12 kilometers, which is very good with a chair, mind you. And if you want an extra battery, you can get one. You can actually get a battery that will give you 10 miles or 16 kilometers. They sell separate batteries. I believe that battery is about $350 for that battery. So what do you think of the Zinger chair already? I could use this all day. So this is the first time she's been in it. She's never tried it before. Never. And uh, it was about a minute learning curve. That's all it was. She learned it, now she's like a pro. Pro professional. And it doesn't look like a wheelchair. You don't have to uh, worry about, you know, oh, oh I'm gonna be coming. seen. <laughs> I'm gonna be seen in a wheelchair. Anybody could do this. this. If you're injured, how are you? If you're injured, if you have a small injury, you can't walk or what have you, and you want to go somewhere, the chair weighs about 38 pounds. It folds in about one second. That's it. It folds and unfolds in just one second. We're going to show you soon, as soon as Zaredi has finished having so much fun uh, and she can get out and demonstrate. Park. Is there a park? Um, yeah, there's actually brakes, but you don't have to use the brakes right now. Okay. Because we're going to fold the chair. So, she's going to grab one side. Let's get on this side there. You see down here? There's a little cable that she's going to pull. She's going to hold the chair from here. She's going to pull the cable up like that and pull the chair forward. Pull the cable, pull it up. That's it, that's how you fold. Now I want you to try that. So, oh. Yeah, and push it down. Let it click. There, it's clicked. Perfect. Now you can carry it either, you can pull this way or the other way you can pull it. If you're more comfortable pulling it the other way, yeah, you, can pull, you can pull it that way, whichever, whichever way you feel more comfortable with. Okay, now to get it back up, yep. No, you have to leave it on the floor, on the floor. No, 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 no. It's got to be lying down on the floor. So, close it again. Let it lie down on the floor, let it click. Push it so it can click. It did click, I Okay, heard. so now pull the, pull the cable and then pull it up. That's it. You see that? Not bad. It's simple, isn't it? Very to simple. fold and unfold. So would you prefer this over a wheelchair? Yeah, why would someone even want to use a wheelchair after using this? Well, depending if they have movement with their hands. Some people can't move their hands, right? So, if they have an injury with one of their hands, then they need the joystick, mm -hmm. right? Which could be placed on either side of the chair. But, if you're fully capable of using your hands, then this is a perfect chair over a wheelchair. 
and show them how easy it is for the footrest to go back and forth. There's your footrest to get up, put your feet forward, and that's it. Push it backwards. And now she can fold it all the way down. It's about 38 pounds. You can pull it like a suitcase. Which is perfect. This is my daughter already. So, Hi. we are going to close off the video here. We're, we're going to thank all you YouTubers for uh, coming to our channel and, and uh, watching this video. Uh, again, this is Chris Dallas. We want to thank you for coming and uh, watching our video today. Uh, our channel, please uh, subscribe. Subscribe, and, like, um, comment. Like, comment. Uh, we're going to be giving Share. out prizes. Share if you could. Yes. Uh, 10,000 subscribers. We've got lots of prizes. We're going to be giving away from we're skateboards to kick scooters to you name it, all kinds of goodies. So please subscribe. And uh, this is another video brought to you by Chris Dallas and his daughter Areti Dallas. And uh, yeah, what else we got to tell them? We are Cavs fans right now uh, because uh, unfortunately our Raptors have lost. So <laughs> go Cavs, go. Unfortunately, they got beaten today. Oh, well. Maybe oh, the second year. Oh, oh, she's a Golden State fan. <laughs> All right, Chris Dallas signing out. Cheers. <laughs>